standard sort of green environmentalist narrative has been that we can all use less energy. So we can be renewable, we can go for energy efficiency. The idea that humankind is simply wasting and using too much. Now, I have a lot of time for that argument, but you can't keep using less energy forever. Most people kind of think that somehow we're going to be reducing our energy consumption. Actually, we just find more and more uses for it. If you look at all the energy that is used by an iPhone, not just to make it and to power it, but also to power all the servers, all of the stuff that you don't see that the iPhone is connected to, it uses as much energy as a refrigerator. Global South is pretty warm, and they would like air conditioning. And up till now, they've not been able to afford it, but now they can. They're getting out of poverty, and they need grid electricity to run their air conditioners. Of course, various environmentalists freak out at that point. But, you know, the, the great philanthropist Bill Gates is saying the thing that he would wish for most in the world, to do the most good right now, is a uh, source of abundant, clean, cheap energy. There's a direct correlation between the amount of energy available to a civilization and that civilization's quality of life. Unless you want to condemn more than half the population of the Earth to poverty and sickness and short lives, we're going to have to produce more energy. In regions that don't have electricity, or very little electricity, the lifespan is much shorter. clinics, schools, and so on. All of these things rely on electricity. And just a few watts make a big difference. You can now have a refrigerator. As soon as you get electricity, you can improve people's lives. So that's human life. First of all, we're talking about human just quality of life. And uh, if you look at the countries with the best quality of life, they are the countries that consume the most electricity. Rain or shine, 24 hours a day, a steady stream of power. We're so used to electricity just happening for us, so used to just going online. Assuming that the world continues to develop and that China and India and Brazil become rich countries over the next half century or century, how much energy is the world going to use? When you start running those numbers, it's a sobering exercise. And you may not be able to get that number exactly right. But you realize we're going to basically double the amount of energy we consume by 2050. We're probably going to triple it or quadruple it by the end of the century. And meanwhile, if you want to stabilize emissions at some reasonable level, almost all of that energy has to be clean energy. You know, you've got to not only you know, create a clean energy infrastructure to replace the fossil fuel infrastructure we have, but we have to create yet another one, or maybe two of them, between now and 2050 or 2100, in order to reduce our emissions to stabilize the climate. And that is just nothing that anybody has really been talking about or dealing with over the last 20 years.